So very little is actually known about the history of this planet in terms of beyond recorded history is very is a very narrow band on the uh, when you think of it a few thousand years and you're totally uh, lost in in it seems that this was like this so there's an apparent technological progress say for for instance or, or something but at the same time it could be argued that for every sign of you know anyway we could we could talk about it for a long long time uh, trying to narrow down um, different things but it all boils down to the fact that where one uh, to be at n one night imagine rather you know when one is asleep and before one wakes up often in the morning hours or in the dawn hours or what have you if you're you know, there is a, a moment of a, a dream state moment where the dream has become and often they turn into a nightmarish spiral which repeats itself those loops those weird uh, what people call weird rabbit holes that seem to loop around and around and there's a repetitive and one for instance a, a familiar a dream I've experienced often is one finds oneself in an unknown city one has parked one's vehicle somewhere and one can't, absolutely can't recall where it is but one has a vague notion that if one went to such and such a place but the more one seeks for familiar landmarks the more unfamiliar it becomes the more difficult it is and one one is going around in odd vicious circles where it's never quite the same but it never seems to progress so there's a seeming uh, despair that sets in when suddenly oh, I'm a oh, one has woken up and oh god it was only a nightmare this whole thing you know and in a sense the life one uh, one is describing if one is stuck in the groove you know like a vinyl record where suddenly it gets stuck in the groove and it repeats she keeps repeating this thing these are the worst kind of uh, notions and a lot of those things that you describe of well there's maybe this evolution or uh, progress and um, uh, a journey towards purpose and so on very often they prove the French saying plus ça change plus c'est la même chose you know the more it changes the more it, it remains the same oddly enough and he, there are other dimensions of being which are on the vertical and therefore in if if one there's an unknown history of the world where completely different propositions of history are present and one thinks these people are crazy and you know and the history of rational historians have their own views other people have what seems to be a demented view of history often the the two strands are equally uh, untrue possibly you know we it, it's not who's to say because in in a world of of shadows and and what they call Maya in India you know which, which I'm not do you know what Maya 
the very poetical way of Maya. Maya was a very beautiful dancer, so sexy and wonderful, and she appears to the, in front of these meditating sages. And her dance is every step of her dance, worlds are produced, the worlds of illusion, more and more complex are produced, until there's a tapestry of dreams, a tapestry of complete illusions with their own logic or illogic, uh, situations that are built in and if one lacks discernment and discernment is one of those qualities a kind of uh, one has to have a kind of lodestone to accept uh, uh, the imaginal what Henri Corbin calls the imaginal rather than than the imaginary, which is fancy, fantasy, what have you. Uh, there's a wonderful complexity beyond belief in the folds of reality and in all these, if one has a form of discernment, one can enjoy illusions and one may find truth within illusions. But the, the main rule is always not quite what the Greeks called to know thyself, but to know not who one is, but what one is. It's a big difference. What one is. If one is able to discover what one is, or that the impalpable mystery of oneself, which is then uh, in that quintessential manner a part of the divine, then we are, in, uh, we are quite far from the uh, liberated from certain painful illusions that come with this over-identification. You've noticed, uh, Sam, in your own work with people, wouldn't you concur that most problems occur because of this erroneous association with the wrong aspect of self? I, I mean, there's an emphasis almost, one is looking at the shadow rather than at the substance. Yes, yes. So it's called, uh, the French call it lâcher la proie pour l'ombre. In other words, it's a predator and then there's a shadow and the predator is tricked into dropping the game that it caught uh, to go for, for an unsubstantial shadow and in that moment some other animal comes and, and <laughs> steals the prey and makes off. And that is very often the dilemma of human beings, of a lot of our beloved ones who, whose sufferings are often with this erroneous visions of what and who they think they are in relationship to, uh, to the great mystery of being. Um, and, and therefore, oh, this is, you know, there's a certain sense, a false sense of what is, what is good, what is bad, what is... Uh, and and that, that's, that's problematic in a sense, not that discernment isn't required, but you know there's an Indian technique also that comes in handy, is that um, agora is an extreme form of ascetic practice where the agoris have in mind the overtaking of objection, 
In other words, nothing of the mo the filthiest things that may ex uh, you, you can conjure is to be feared or rejected. Instead, it is all to be the most horrid things are taken at the same value as the most delicious things, etc. If one can do that, that's another form of, of uh, uh, an extreme form of, of, uh, of uh, alchemy, as it were, um, which I've seen, I've personally seen, leads to extraordinary results. I mean, it's not a path that is recommendable, but it's odd how even intellectually talk to anybody about it and they will frown at the idea at the very idea of you know the, the, the objections that are dealt with in that endeavor.